Hey, welcome to the first episode of Project Com Season 2. So, we've been away for a while from YouTube this winter. We took a break, recharged ourselves and made a plan for this year. So it's currently springtime here in Portugal. Weather has been super nice. The flowers are growing, the trees are sprouting. And overall, I would say it's been nice, much less rain than we had last year. And this means also our mimosa forest has been growing hard which is an invasive tree, so this probably all needs to go at some point and be replaced by native species. But luckily this means also all the trees and bushes we planted are not little sticks anymore, but they slowly start to flower. So this would become a tasty pear tree at some point, if it's gonna survive another year. So like I said, it rained a bit less. As you can see here, the rivers are much lower which is not necessarily a problem for us because we're a bit more in the mountains and we have water coming from the well. But slowly the neighbors start to worry a bit more about if there would be enough water this summer. And in general, the neighbors and the local village is just still doing their thing steadily. Dogs are still chilling around. And our own base camp is still there, running as usual. Small difference, we had a few leaks here and there, which we are fixing now. And we actually did a bunch of things this uh, winter. Let me show you what that is all is. So first thing is we assembled a team to make sure we are here with more people throughout the year. So we're with five people. First, we have Rita, who's doing more the managing of the things. Adrian, he's more construction and working. Julie, she is more of an all-rounder and likes a lot to talk with the local people. And me, I'm still here, but I don't really have a job anymore because we have a video maker. So let me actually tell you a bit more about this video maker and how it went. So yeah, we found a video maker. And we did this because last year we sent out an application online asking for a video maker to come and help us. And the main task would be produce these weekly videos you're watching now. So the person should really be living here for a few months and film it. A person dedicated would really improve the quality and free up some of my own space to do other things. And we had money available for this job and the money actually came from the income generated by YouTube last year. So thanks to you guys watching, we actually earned 10,000 euro. So we put that online. If a video maker comes, you get 10,000 euro. And we had a bunch of people signing up for the job from young to old. And eventually we found Felix, guy from Germany. He made a very nice video, good jokes, good quality. And he has the exact same van as Mattia. Feels like he's made for this place. So here he is. We don't know each other at all, but I guess we will become friends over the year. Hopefully you also like his new videos. And another more practical update for YouTube comments, since you always recommend it. We also bought some safety gear. And another comment we actually often get is that the music is bad. So we had some friends here from Fresh Plastic coming together to make some music. They recorded a few songs and here's one of them. Besides this, we also updated our main website, we've added a bit more information about the project and added practical things like a frequently asked questions, for instance whether we are a cult. We've also updated our ways to support, the big things you can donate, like supporting the renovation of our workspace, buy a tractor or just upgrade our tools. We've updated our workforce section with new positions, so if you want to come and help us here, you can have a look. We need ecologists, vegan chefs, general help and many more. This list will also grow and expand throughout the whole year, so keep an eye on it. And last digital thing, we also released our research module in the community platform. Here we will document ongoing research, things that are a bit more in-depth and detailed than you show in a YouTube video. And this will also be the main place to share suggestions and help us out if you want to help remotely. Have a look at it, keep an eye on it, and the more people come here, the more research we will do. 
And finally, we've also got our paperwork in place. It was a bit messy last year, since we did many things privately, we just wanted to move forward. So we're now set up as a Portuguese association, and it's mainly to keep track of our administration and get a bank account and stuff like that. So this is all the stuff we've been doing in this period between season one and now. All to get ready for the next season. So let me show you all the things and goals we want to achieve for this year, for season two. All right, so first on our list is this small ruin. Last year we cleaned it up uh, because it was fully overgrown. It's a granite building with bricks on top, almost collapsing. So first we're gonna make an inventory of what's inside and see the structural strength. Uh, the goal of this year is to make sure the roof is closed, the walls are fixed, it's insulated, and we can put a stove inside because this will be our warm place for next year winter. So it's a good deadline. After that, this will become our guest house where we can invite experts from around the world to research a specific topic in Project Camp. The money to renovate this one is donated by a member in our Discord. So thank you very much for that. So next we have our big ruin. And this building was actually not registered in all the paperwork. So the goal for this year is to make sure we legalize it and put it in the right paperwork so it's all good to go. And besides that, we also want to start the design process. So we uploaded a 3D model of the space in the research module online. So you guys can download it and share suggestions of what you think the space should look like and what should be inside. So we can design it all together. And that would also be the goal of this year, to make sure we have a final design for this one, all the paperwork legal, and then next year hopefully we can start renovating. <laughs> Oh damn! So next we also want to expand our workspace area because currently all our tools and material are stuffed into the shipping container which is getting quite small especially with more people around uh, and we would like to expand that by having more dry area and ideally also in shipping containers so we can have for instance a shipping container for our woodworking materials um, but also for the gardening materials like chainsaws and brush cutters so this year we want to look into what is legally allowed to do on the land uh, to make sure that next year we can expand our workspace area. And another big thing we want to do this year is landscaping. And we did it a little bit by clearing up some areas, for instance the swamp over here which was fully overgrown. But we didn't really intervene too much yet because we didn't really have a plan. And this year we want to make sure we have that 5 to 10 year holistic plan on how to treat the land. So to think about which kind of trees do we plant, how do we retain the water? Uh, do we need to make terraces? Uh, so if you're an expert in this field, an ecologist looking into landscaping, have a look at the website to see how you can help us out. And besides making this plan, which you want to have ready end of the year, we also want to do one big tree planting action towards the end of the year, when it's a good time to plant, and really start to regenerate the land and taking out those invasive trees and already plant back a few new ones. Yeah, and in order to speed up our work, we need a Lamborghini. Now, we don't really need a Lamborghini, but we need a tractor. And because we have a lot of landscaping to do, soil to move, woods to chip, uh, and trees to move around, so a landscaping with a tractor would speed up the whole process. And you can help us out if you go to support.projectcamp.com to donate as a tractor. And another big clearing action we want to do this year is to clean up this creek. So there's water flowing there and we already opened it up a little bit over here but it's a lot of work, a lot of bushes, there's bar wire in there from the previous owner because they had a fence so you can't really clean it with a tractor so it's gonna be a big manual job with a lot of people and uh, we're probably gonna have some local people helping out not sure yet how but the goal is to have it clean end of the year then we see this beautiful creek flowing here all the way and another goal for this rocky landscape is to build a few yoga decks here from wood. A deck where you can do yoga, meditation or just chill. So you can come to peace after all the work and have a nice look on the beautiful valley. So those are all the goals and things you want to achieve on the land this year. We also have a little bit of a side goal, which is the amount of people we want to be here. So last year, on average, we were here with two people. And this year we want to be here with 10, because we think that's what the infrastructure can hold. 
And it's going to be very diverse people, from vegan chefs to ecologists to construction workers. If you want to help out, make sure to visit the website where you can see all the tasks and you can actually come here to join us and help us complete the goals. Uh, if you want to stay on the other side of the world, we also have the research module where we're going to document all the processes and things going on so you can follow it step by step. Or just keep watching these videos every week, it's awesome, helps a lot. And actually, if you want to already see next week's video, it's going to be online as well today for our Patreon supporters. So if you support on Patreon, you can already see that video and it helps to support the project. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, super cool, see you next week.